Voy a solo compartir un pequeño video para que ustedes puedan eh, tener un, una prueba de la experiencia de Cambridge College, solo como una pequeña introducción. Okay. Entonces, gracias por el tiempo de todos. Eh, mi nombre es Eitor, soy representante de Campion College. Es un placer, estamos acá para compartir más informaciones de nuestro college. Eh, esperemos que al final de nuestra presentación ustedes, ustedes estén más cerca con los planes, con un pasito a frente, con los planes para estudiar en Canadá. Uh, Pero qué pena, te queríamos solicitar si de pronto puedes hacer la presentación en inglés. Oh, sorry, I'm so sorry, I thought it was in Spanish. No te preocupes, es que yo siempre les hago la introducción. Okay, <ríe> en so... español y normalmente la feria es en español, pero hoy estamos con, con Aspine y ellos son colegios bilingües, entonces pues la idea es que reciban toda su información en inglés. <ríe> Perfect, ok, I'm going to continue in English, I'm so sorry. Muchas gracias, right. no, no te preocupes, gracias. No problem, so thank you so much uh, everybody for coming. Uh, I hope that by the end of this presentation, you guys will be one step closer to your plans with uh, uh, arriving and studying in Canada. As I said, my name is Aitor. I'm a representative of Cambrian College. And uh, we're going to start with the location of Cambrian College, which is in the city of Sudbury. Uh, Sudbury is located in the north of Ontario. It's pretty close to Toronto. It's just one hour by plane and uh, four hours by car. Sudbury is the biggest city participating in the ARNIP. The ARNIP is, a, is an immigration initiative uh, to promote rural areas. So we don't have time to talk about all of the details, but uh, it's a special program to promote uh, and bring more people to the city. So um, the score system is a little bit more friendly than the express into which is federal. So uh, Sudbury, as I said, is the largest city in Northern Ontario. It is known as Nickel City, as well as City of Lakes. Uh, the reason being is because uh, nickel is uh, a material that is uh, exploited there in the city. So the mining uh, of this material is very strong. It drove and uh, rose the economy in the latest years, but now other uh, sectors are growing more and more, as we'll see. It is also known as the City of Lakes. The reason being is because Sudbury has nine, uh, sorry, 330 lakes inside the extension of the city, as well as nine parks surrounding uh, the area. And Sudbury has the extension of more than 3,000 kil square kilometers. This is huge, right? This is kind of, this, this is the double of a city like uh, Bogota or almost twice as uh, large as a city like uh, Mexico City. So we're talking about a city that has a huge extension, but the population for Latin American standards is a bit uh, lower, right? So the population of city uh, is 165,000. That doesn't look like much, but for the Northern part of Ontario, this is a lot. So uh, we like to say that uh, Sudbury is a big, small city. It is the center for uh, shopping, for entertainment, for outdoor activities, culinary experiences, uh, health, uh, care, and also education, because the city has uh, a lot of things to do. Uh, it has a lot of festivals going on, a lot of shopping centers, uh, restaurants from all kinds of foods. Uh, the healthcare sector is stronger there because it has more infrastructure than the surrounding cities. And the education seems uh, kinder into uh, higher education, like you said, uh, it's a reference for, for the region. There are many reasons you can consider uh, uh, for living in Sudbury. One of them is the employment opportunities because the city is bigger. Uh, it has more companies there. So companies like Scotiabank, TD Bank, uh, KPMG, mining companies like Bale, Miracle, as well as technology companies. Uh, we have many employers there in the city. So uh, this is a, a good possibility for, for international students. It is an emerging industry, as I said, so uh, the city uh, is growing more and more, but it also needs uh, qualified professionals. That's why Cambridge College exists, 
and that's why the RNIP, uh, as I mentioned before, exists. So uh, the city has a demand for different areas. Uh, the Cambridge College exists, uh, and the programs we offer are for the same areas. And then we have uh, an, an incentive from the government to help uh, immigration to this city. Apart from that, this is also a safer and more welcoming community because uh, it's smaller in comparison to Toronto, as well as a more accessible cost of living because uh, especially uh, housing, right? Housing in Sudbury is relatively uh, lower than cities like Ottawa or Vancouver. So we're talking about an average of $1,200 uh, for an apartment of two bedrooms, so which is and more, much more accessible than uh, bigger, greater cities uh, in urban areas. It has immigration opportunities, as we mentioned, but if you ask anybody who lives in Sudbury, uh, their top reason for choosing it is especially this combination of big city with a lot of things to do and many uh, companies and many job opportunities and everything, but it also has a small town vibe. So it has a lot of green area, as I said, in the nine parks, in the lakes, uh, it has uh, less pollution, it has less traffic, and it also has a lot of outdoor activities. Uh, like, for example, in, in the mini parks, you can go camping, you can go hiking, uh, you can, in the winter, you can go snowboarding, you can go, uh, you can go ice fishing. So this combination of big city and small town is uh, tops, it's hands down the, the best uh, thing about Sudbury. These are the sectors that are hot right now in the city. So as you can see, there are many. Uh, I mentioned pre previously mining, supply and, su and services, which is huge there. But it also now it's getting more and more important sectors like manufacturing, healthcare, uh, research and innovation, film and creative industries because of the beautiful landscapes there in Sudbury. Many movies are being recorded there. Clean tech and environmental, of course, uh, and also business and professional services. So talking a little bit about Cambrian College, we are a leader of education and because we are the largest college in Northern Ontario, we have more than 45 nationalities present on campus, more than 60,000 grads uh, since we began in 1967. We have an average of 5,000 uh, 5, full-time students. We are one of the top research and development colleges in all Canada. We have pathway options from language schools to universities, if you want. Uh, more than 80 career programs. We'll see there are many, many programs. I'm sure uh, one of them will uh, meet your intentions for the future. We have hands-on learning, so we have opportunities through applied research, as I said, co-ops, many international trips, placements, and community projects. Uh, and we also have an average of uh, one, one teacher for 22 students, so the classes are uh, considered to be smaller and the faculty will know you by name and they will help you uh, get a job because the professors, they are in close contact with the companies. So we have many cases of successful students that uh, reached employment until uh, six months after they graduate. We have an average of 93% uh, of success employment uh, for our graduates. We also have all the support uh, and services that you need. We'll talk about this later. I would like to focus uh, here a little bit on the programs. We have diplomas and advanced diplomas. They range from uh, two to three years uh, in general. We have some programs that are general and they are kind of introductory for other programs. Uh, we have a pre-trades, a pre-health and a general art and sciences program. This will help you qualify for uh, an academic program uh, of two or two, three years. And so I'll just go over uh, very quickly each faculty, each um, college uh, sector, because there are many. Uh, we don't have time to go over each program, but I'll be happy to answer uh, any questions that you have at the end of the presentation. So we have programs in safety and environmental areas, uh, special uh, environmental technician, also workplace safety and prevention. We have many programs in skills and trades. Uh, they are kind of more industrial. Um, like heating, ventilation, and air conditioning, and others. We have many programs in business and IT sectors, so business administration, accounting. We have new programs like Internet of Things and media communications. Uh, we also have a design um, and creative arts uh, faculty with us, uh, programs like animation, graphic design, and we have also a new program called game design. In the health sector, we have personal support worker, which is uh, very uh, well known. 
uh, and also practical nursing, which uh, we have a lot of international students looking for us. Uh, fit to self promotion is an also new program. So as you can see, we have new programs because uh, because there are new uh, demands. The college will attend these demands and promote new programs. So these are very recent, and we're talking about uh, in the past year that these programs began. We have law and justice programs. We have community services programs like early child education, social services. Oops, we also have an engineering uh, faculty with us. So chemical engineering, civil, electrical, electrical mechanical, mining, mechanical and power engineer with us, as well as graduate certificates, which are um, for uh, a specialization after your academic program. So uh, you can apply to those. Those are for one year. The graduate certificates are a little bit shorter, but we have ones if you wish to specialize yourself in management or in another sector like analytics. We have uh, many graduate certificates in those areas as well. In terms of support uh, for student services, which are very important because you'll be traveling to another country. So the college works uh, as a base for you guys. So uh, it's very important that you uh, know and that you use the support services, right? And you especially count on them if you need. So we have, as I said, many social and networking activities like a career fair that we have that happens every year. Now it's being taken online. We're hopeful next year will be uh, taken uh, in person and on campus. So um, by doing these kind of activities, you get more and more involved with the community and more involved with employers, which, you help, which will help you with your success in the future. We, all, we also have a varsity and intramural sports, which is great. We have, um, many different uh, kinds of sports which students they can, they can participate. Varsity is more competitive, so we compete with other colleges. It's very strong, it's very intense, but we also have intramural sports which are more for pleasure, for leisure, to, to just practice for fun. Uh, sports they, we have are badminton, soccer, volleyball, basketball, uh, curling, if I'm not mistaken, and many others that uh, I, I, don't, I can't remember right now. We have a wellness and accessibility center to help students that uh, have special needs. We also have a learning center to help you uh, in your academic studies. So if by any, by any uh, reason you have difficulty in your program in, in terms of understanding or you need a support to study more, additionally with a group uh, of other students, we have a learning center that will help you uh, achieve your success in your program. And we also have a career center that will help you uh, professionally. So the Career Center will help you practice for your interviews. They will help you create uh, your resume. They will help you um, draft, write the resume to the uh, Canadian style, which is a bit different and it's important that you are more prepared to that. And the Career Center also has a career portal. So the companies that I mentioned before, they post job opportunities in the portal of Cambridge College. So uh, I think we have over 95 companies, if I'm not mistaken, that they uh, every time they open a new vacancy, they post this job opportunity uh, in their career portal. So it's a great opportunity for us to reach um, employment, right, for these students, which is what we want in the end. We also have a residence on campus. So we have two, two types of residence. One is the dorm style, the other is the townhouse. Uh, the dorm style is, for, is a little bit smaller, it's just for two students. The townhouses is a bit uh, with more space. Uh, for now, because of the pandemic, now we're, we're taking four students. Uh, probably, we'll see, right, uh, next year, it will come back to the six students per townhouse, as we said. But all of them are furnished, they have internet, uh, and there's also a common lounge and game room and laundry as well for you to... Um, to be calm and to take care of your studies uh, with no problem. So the admission requirements, uh, we have an EEP program that can help you first with your English if you need. So uh, if you're struggling with your English and uh, you, you are almost there to be able to uh, take an academic program, you can uh, choose to study English with us. Uh, and then uh, once you graduate in the AP program, you can go to, to an academic program. Uh, but you, if you have enough English, you can go directly to a diploma. So uh, the English requirements are here. So we're accepting IELTS, TOEFL, PT, and Duolingo. The score system is over here for diplomas and for graduate certificates. 
and we also need your high school credentials, right, translated. In terms of tuition fees and investment, payment by semester, uh, so you, you have to pay by semester, it's not annual, and the, appro the, the approximate annual fee per program is around 50, 15,000 uh, per year. So we're talking about two semesters, right? And I saved the best for the end. Uh, we have many scholarships and bursaries. The college has received in the last two years more than a million dollars to distribute to the students in bursaries. Uh, the first two here, they have basically no requirements. All of the students that apply, they receive it. We have a bursary of $500 um, dollars for the purchase of your books. And we also have a bursary of $1,700 for the townhouse residents uh, that I mentioned before. This is for the first semester. Uh, once you finish your first semester and you get these two bursaries, you can apply to others. So those will range from $500 to $1,200 and they have different requirements, right? So uh, some of them are for awards for students that have very good grades. Others are for students that participate in the sports that we mentioned. Others are for students who are taking volunteer work. Some of them are just for uh, engineering programs. Others are just for health programs. Some are just for women to promote. We actually, I think now we have more students that are women than men. Uh, so we have uh, bursaries just for uh, our uh, women students. And uh, that's basically it. Um, by, I hope I have uh, cleared uh, many uh, doubts that you guys had and brought you some useful information. Um, I'll, I would like to thank everyone for coming. We're going to open for questions right now. And I would just like to end with an invitation. So we'll be having an open house uh, next, uh, next month, so on November 13th. Uh, the open house is the opportunity for you to get to know the teachers, the professors, talk to students that are taking the program. So you can talk to all of Cambrian College and it's a free uh, virtual program. So if you register until November 8th, you have the chance to uh, win a 500 Amazon gift card. So be sure to register for the open house and come to this event so you can know more and talk directly to the staff from the Career Center to talk to the staff from uh, the learning center and also to the professors uh, and coordinators from the programs you are interested. It's a very uh, important and a very useful uh, opportunity for the students to be able to contact directly the college. Uh, we hope everybody uh, can come there. I'm not sure if you guys have any questions, if we are going to put them in the chat or you can open the microphone as well. I'll be happy to answer them. Muchas gracias por tu presentación, chicos, la invitación. Si tienen alguna pregunta, pueden activar el micrófono o también les puede hacer preguntas en el chat. También puede poner la manito arriba para tenerlos allí presente para las preguntas. Bueno, creo que no tenemos ninguna pregunta de nuestros estudiantes. Eitor, muchas gracias por tu presentación. Muchas gracias por estar con nosotros hoy en la feria. Claro, claro que sí. Fue un placer. Eh, si ustedes tienen cualquier duda, cualquier interés, por favor, entre en contacto con Lorena de Estadinao y todo el equipo, que estoy seguro que ellos pueden ayudarte eh, con todos los planes. Y espero ver ustedes eh, en Cameron College en Canadá en, eh, pronto. Claro que sí, te estaremos contando que estudiantes viajan para Cambria. Que tengas un feliz día. A ti, Lorena, muchísimas gracias. Nos vemos a todos. Chao. Gracias, chao.